Okay, Tony, Dr. Tempany, I met you last Hi, week. Hi, Dr. Tempany. Hi. Come how on are you? in and take a seat. Great. Thanks, Amelia. How are you doing today? I'm great, yeah. Feel, yeah. feel fine. Yeah, really I'm just. I uh, just got a phone call to come back in and see you about that result that you know I went and got the X-ray. You did, mm. okay. So we, yeah. So we were we were here last week. That's right, yeah. And to refresh and to go over things just a little bit, it, it was the cough that was really causing you a lot of trouble, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I just had this really irritating cough going on for much longer than I'd usually have it. You know, yeah. going on nearly three months. Yeah, it was just quite mm. a long time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I tried all cough bottles, and everything. I couldn't get rid of it. Yeah, and you were worried about it. Yeah, I was a bit worried, I suppose. Usually when I have a cough, you know, a few antibiotics and things and it goes away, you know, but this one was... It wasn't going, no. I know. And you had mentioned that you'd lost weight as well. Yeah, I'd lost, in the same period, probably lost a bit of stone and weight, but, you know, I probably needed to lose a bit. So, yeah. you know, I'm not upset over that as such. Okay, okay. Mm. And to check just a few other little things, yeah. had, you, had your appetite been okay? Been okay, I suppose. I was, I suppose I haven't been eating huge amounts, um, okay. but nothing significant, no. Okay. Yeah. And you hadn't been coughing up any blood or anything like that? No, uh, no, 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 no. I would have come straight down if I coughed up blood. No, good, mm. good. And it's six or seven years since you stopped the cigarettes, Tony, is it? Yeah, six yeah. years now, six years off the, off the cigarettes, so it's great. So, yeah, definitely cough much less and get much less infection since I stopped, since which is stopped. super stuff. I'm okay, okay. proud of myself there, yeah. Good, no, that's fantastic work. Mm. So... We, the reason we did the chest x-ray the yeah. X was because the cough was going on longer than yeah. usual really for you and with the weight loss as well. And obviously yeah. we were both a bit worried about that and was yeah, there any particular reason that could have caused it. Yeah. And the x-ray has come back to us, okay? Right. And it, it has shown something on it, okay, Tony? Oh, right. And by something, I know that sounds very vague, it's a little shadow in it, okay? okay. Up at the top of the right lung. Right. Which could be numerous things, all right? All right. But it has come back showing something. So okay. it's something we need to Is address. Is that something cancer? So that's obviously the first question, the first thought that comes to mind. And the answer is that at this stage, we don't know. Okay? okay. It could be many things. When there's a shadow in the lung, there's a list of things that it could be. What okay? else could it be? So yes, it could be cancer. Right. There's things like old t tuberculosis God. can cause these shadows. Right. Bad infections that have gone had away. You never had that. Sometimes no. we could have it and not know we had it. Okay. That's a possibility. Right. Um, an, an infection, infection that hasn't okay. gone away. Right. Sometimes scarring in the lung. There's lots okay. of things that could contribute to it. Okay. 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 But now that we've picked it up and know that it's there. Oh my God. We need to be aware that it could right. be something more serious. And could okay? that have been there for a long time? Potentially. Right. It could be. It could have been there for a long time or it could have developed recently. Okay. And you think it's associated with me coughing and losing weight? So it could be, and that's why we can't ignore it, okay? Right, okay. If there's something there that could have contributed to that, okay? Okay. Um, I can understand that this is a bit of a shock. Oh my God, it's a huge shock. I gave up smoking, so I thought when you give up smoking, then you, don't, you can't develop cancer. Yeah, and that's... <sighs> Unfortunately, not the case. Right. However, giving up the cigarettes was obviously a wonderful thing to do. And as he said, the cough has improved, okay? okay. So what, what, what happens next? I mean, how do I find out what it is? Yeah, so okay. So obviously this is all a lot of information yeah. at once. And you're down on your own today, which is, I know, it's, it's yeah. hard. It'd be nice to have somebody with you. Um, who's at home with you, Tony? Oh, just my wife and okay. two kids as well. You have two kids yeah. too, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll go through things now, of course, and then yeah. it'd be great to bring your wife down with you if you think she'd like to come. Oh, I don't know how to tell her. Yeah, I can help you with that. That's right. no problem. Yeah. Maybe maybe we might come down together. Yeah, yeah, that's a good oh, idea, yeah. definitely. I um, don't know if I could tell her, actually. Yeah, well, I'd be more than happy to help you go through that, and we can right. make sure we have extra time. So if you let me know whether it's later on today, we can do it at the end of the day, or we can do it okay. later on in the week and make sure we have a long appointment. So where do I go from Yeah, here? yeah, there's lots do to I cover. Do I need to contact anyone? Or? You need to do nothing, okay? okay? I want you to try and just take it all in, and I know it's a lot of information. How it works is that once we found this thing on the lung, and I'm going yeah. to call it a shadow, okay? Yeah. Um, we need to find out what it is. And an x-ray will show that there's something there, but it can't tell us what, okay? okay. So luckily now in recent years, this, there's a new referral program in the hospitals, which is great. It's called Rapid Access, okay? okay. And it means you get seen within two weeks max, okay? Okay, within two weeks. Within two weeks. So it could be a couple of days or it could be up to the two weeks, okay? okay? Yeah. And what we do is I'll send it off right now, a letter mm. saying what we had come up against, the cough and the weight loss and what yeah. the x-ray has shown, okay? okay. 
Okay. Um, and then what they'll do is offer you an appointment to come in within the two weeks. Okay. And I would suggest you bring somebody with you when you go. Probably okay. your wife would be a okay. good, yeah, good idea. Yeah, no, definitely want to bring someone yeah, in, you know? Yeah, I know. It's hard to take in this news when you're on your own. Yeah. Um, when you go to the appointment, yeah. so what are they going to do? They'll go through a history again, asking all the same questions yeah. probably, okay? Yeah. And then what they'll do is I think called a CAT scan or a CT scan. Okay. Of the whole, the chest area, okay? Right, okay. Where you go into this machine. Have you ever had one of those before for uh, anything? I think I had one years ago. It's a big loud machine. Yes, yeah. yeah, it makes lots of noise. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and that'll look in more detail of what is there, okay? Right. It'll give us a bit more information. Right. But then the definitive thing to say 100% what it is, is by yeah. putting a camera down, okay? And I don't know, have you ever had a camera down into the tummy or the bowel or anything like that before? I had a camera down into the tummy before, Okay, yeah. so it's obviously similar but different. This one's yeah. going down into the lung, okay? okay? And it has a look and, it will, and a little needle will take a sample, okay? okay. But they won't take they it won't out. Feel that. They won't take the whole thing out. They won't out, take the whole thing out till they know what it is, okay? Right, okay. And how long will that take from the time, I suppose, I go to the lung unit hmm. to the time I find out whether it's cancer or not. I know, and that's a very important question. Um, it shouldn't be long, Tony, is the honest answer to that. Okay. okay. On the day they'll do the CT and they may even do the camera test that day. Okay. And then the biopsy results can take a couple of weeks to come back. Okay. okay? God, yeah. But once you're seen in the clinic, they'll have a better idea. They'll be able to give you a better time frame. I don't want to give you specific time frames because I'm not 100% sure. Okay? Sure, yeah, no, I understand we'll that. We'll have so to I check with the specialists. Um, but it shouldn't be long, okay? Okay. okay. Um, and then based on what it shows, we take it from there, okay? Okay, yeah, sure. No, I appreciate your honesty because, you know, mm. it's better that I know that, it, you know, I suppose it could be cancer. You know, I did smoke and mm. God, in hindsight now, maybe... Maybe I was ignoring some of the symptoms. Yeah. And apart from the cough and the weight loss, you, you didn't really notice anything else. No, I mean, no. my energy You're levels were great, tired, but yeah. I'm yeah, busy in work and the two kids, and you know, yeah. you know, I'm quite young. You just put it down you to know, just gen general fatigue, you know? Of I didn't course. think there'd be something wrong. Yeah. And you wouldn't the family have any cancer, Tony? Not that I know of. Not that no. you're aware of. No. no. And we don't know what that is, what okay. it is yet. You know, right. yes, of okay. course it could be, but I don't want us okay. to jump to that just yet. So okay. I'm, suppo I'm supposed to be in work tomorrow. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to work. I don't think that'd be a good idea. No, right. no, I think you should take a couple of days off, okay? Yeah, sure. Now, and again, some people do find it easier to go in and to keep dis distracted. But definitely today we've landed a bit of a bombshell and I think yeah. to have yeah. a bit of time to talk. Okay. You'll, you're, w will your wife be at home when you get home, is she? Uh, yeah, she'll be at home and I might tell her that just that um, the doctor wants to speak to us together and I'll probably tell her some but not that it could be cancer because she'll just go up the walls with that. Okay and when you bring her in yeah. would you like me to tell her that or would you um, rather we keep it Maybe you just moment? tell her what you told me. Okay yeah. okay so that she knows that it's a possibility but we don't know be and honest, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. I understand no I understand that but I suppose it's something that I should gear myself okay. up Okay. And is there anyone else you'd like to talk to or for me to link you in with somebody I to have a chat? I suppose not at the moment. I suppose I'll just I'll chat to her and then, um, as I said, I'll just go to the hospital and I'll take it from there. Okay, mm. all right. Um, and open door policy here, Tony. So any time that you're, sure. if you're struggling with it, come in at all over the next couple of days, two Look, weeks. Look, that's great. I appreciate um, that. I and we'll take it from there. I might take you up on that offer. Okay, so please try not to worry while knowing yeah. that it could be something we don't know yet. And I know. I know. We need I to look into that. it further. I'll do that. Look, okay. you've been very good. All and right. I appreciate you being honest with me. And, um, you know, just hope now that it's not something serious. Okay, and hopefully. And we'll see you with your wife in the next couple of days. All right, Great. Thanks, Dr. Templey. No problem. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. We'll see you soon.